2025, Nigeria, the heart of Africa, lies battered, bleeding, and shattered. Vultures feed upon it, and onlookers mock it. Once a thriving and vibrant nation full of promise, Nigeria is now a wasteland of destruction and sorrow. Nigerians are scattered as refugees and strangers in foreign lands, beholden to people they once fed and protected. How did this happen? Following contentious elections in 2007, the administration took a number of steps to shore up its credibility, while Nigerians adopted a see-don't-look attitude. The engagement with the Niger Delta, which had begun with some hope, quickly turned into an unending round of consultations with no concrete resolutions. Promised improvements in utilities were forever in the pipeline, and Nigerians' patience quickly faded. It soon became apparent that there was no clear strategy to deal with fundamental issues. The administration seemed to have been captured by other interests. Yet another litany of broken promises. Mediocrity, apathy, helplessness and disillusionment thrived. Into the vacuum created by an ineffective government and apathetic Nigerians, the Godfathers financiers and influence peddlers stepped in to consolidate their stranglehold on the country. Nigeria's riches, forests, solid minerals, energy and vast tracts of fertile land were up for grabs as the vultures and hyenas jostled for the juiciest portions. Behind closed doors, they were privatized, sold off, and concessions given to a tiny but powerful cabal of Nigerians and their foreign collaborators. Nigerians' economy became firmly confined to pure resource extraction. With high global commodity prices, the elite who monopolize the resources become obscenely rich. They saw no need for local value addition and the idea of economic diversification died. Captured by the powerful business cartel, the government paid no attention to schools, hospitals, housing and sanitation. Malaria continued to be Nigeria's deadliest child killer and HIV proliferated unchecked. Few jobs were created and unemployment worsened. The gap between the rich and the poor became an unbridgeable chasm. Meanwhile, the low-level conflict in the neglected Niger Delta region escalated as attempts at resolving the crisis were abandoned. Instead, a special privately financed Delta Force was created to protect all installations and rich families. The 2011 elections returned the ruling party to power, but with a much diminished turnout. Voters had lost interest in the process as cross carpeting decimated the opposition. Chronism and corruption continued unchecked. As they suffocated under the weight of horrible social conditions, Nigerians turned to their religious and ethnic leaders for guidance. Under the prevailing conditions of impunity, strong sectarian sentiments were inflamed and communities began killing each other in a bitter struggle for land and other sources of livelihood. Children were not spared. The 2015 elections witnessed a heavy military presence to crush any protests. In the atmosphere of violence and intimidation, voter turnout was the lowest ever. The Niger Delta exploded and top politicians in power were targeted by militia. Militants attacked foreign oil installations, kidnapping and killing their workers. Oil companies pulled out of Nigeria. Foreign commodos invaded the Niger Delta to secure the release of the hostages. Resistance was fierce and some casualties were taken. Anarchy spread across the Federation. Some armed militia supported the Federation, others fought for self-determination. The center was weakened and Nigeria 
became ungovernable. The bloody military coup of 2019, led by a kid of opportunistic officers, did little to maintain a unified Nigeria. They only succeeded in controlling a small section called the MGN, Military Government of Nigeria. The Federal Republic collapsed as warlords renamed their settlements Republic of Arewa, Biafra, Odudua, Niger Delta. Regional countries shot their borders to stop the millions of fleeing Nigerian refugees. Aid organizations were overwhelmed by the sheer scale of the humanitarian disaster. For those left behind, daily life is a nightmare as warlords, soldiers and bandits kidnap, mutilate, rape and kill at will. By 2025, Nigeria is Jaga Jaga. A country only in name, shattered and broken.